Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an online course for kids in under five minutes by using TinyTap. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm in my TinyTap account. This is my free TinyTap account. Let's go in and create, and we're going to create a course. And let's just jump right in and create a course. And I'm going to call this one questions from my daughters about weather. I'm going to write a little description. This is a course based on questions that my preschool age daughters have asked me about weather and climate. And so the course goals, what's important here is I'm writing my course goals and this course summary for parents, the people who are going to actually pick out the courses for their kids. So the course goal here is going to be to help preschool age students understand the basics of weather and climate. Now, if I wanted to make a promotional video for my course, I could, and then I could put the link to that video here in the promotional video link, but I'm not going to do that in this case. I'm just going to select my target age. I'm gonna say this is for kids who are between two and five years old. So I'm just going to click each one of those options. This course is going to be in English and our categories for this course down here, we're going to say weather and earth, will be my two categories. Now, this type, we can do playlist or structured course. The two look the same. The only difference is a structured course forces students to complete each activity in the order in which you arrange them. Playlist lets them complete them in any order that they want. And you can make this public or private. The premium option is something I'll talk about in a video next week. I'm gonna keep this one private for now. Now let's choose a cover image for my course. And so I want to pick something from my desktop. I have some images here that I wanna use. And let's say I want to use this picture here that has some snow in it. I'm gonna use that one. That's going to be the picture that I use. Let's go ahead and add that in. Now you can add a little thumbnail if you want to. You don't have to. I'm just going to go ahead and create that. And now there's the header for my course, questions from my daughters. And now we need to add some content to it. So my daughters have asked me many times about snow. And so I'm just going to do a search for the word snow right here. And we'll see all kinds of games and activities that people have made and shared in TinyTap that are about snow. And so let's go ahead and pick a couple of these. I'm going to, let's say, pick this one here. And let's do another one about snow. And let's go ahead and find another that I might like to use. Now, obviously, if I was building this course to really share, I'd want to preview each one of these here, but I'm going to just go through here and pick a couple just for the sake of this demo. So let's do that one. Now, I want to, my daughters also asked me about rainbows quite a bit and how rainbows are made. So I'm going to do a search for rainbows and we can see rainbow sound scavenger hunt, count the rainbows. We can rainbow fax to 20, hmm, interesting. Let's add that one in. Now, if I wanna start the course with rainbows instead of snow, well, I'll just drag that up to the top. Now, if I wanna preview it, hit that preview button, and I can preview my course. This is how students will see it, and we can start it. 
and that will launch this first activity, Rainbow Fax 220. And they can go through and complete this activity. And we'll see right here that there's a progress meter. So far, the student hasn't completed any of it. So now that my course is all set up, I can always go back here to my courses tab and see questions from my daughter. I can share the course. I've got that link right there. I can put that link wherever I would normally put a link. I can put it in Google Classroom, any other learning management system. I could even tweet it out if I wanted to. I can always go back and edit the course if I need to. And I can, let's say, add some more. Maybe I want to add a little section about clouds and how clouds are made. So let's do rain and clouds. And now I've got that in there and we'll save it. And again, you can revisit that course at any time by going to my courses and there's my course. And I can again preview it if I want to as well. So that's how you can create your online courses by using TinyTab. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.